Hello, this is the Han Informer, and today I'm giving you my 18th volume of Silicon Mask Weekly. Today I'm talking about mobile masks from CFX, and this is the Stalker. He has an exaggerated brow, so he looks angry. He's got great big teeth. He doesn't have any ears, just ear holes. This is the clown variant of the mask with drool on the teeth, which is an add-on, and this is very cool. This will work perfectly in any of your fun houses or carnivals or clown sections of your haunt attractions, whether they're indoors or outdoors. It'll work either way. I've seen mobile videos of this used at haunt attractions where they have sliders that wear this mask, and I recommend using a ball of clava when you're wearing this mask, because when you open your mouth, Without a balaclava, you'll be able to see your mouth under the teeth, and you don't want that. That ruins the illusion of being this creature. So definitely wear a balaclava and not black out your mouth. So when you open your mouth with these teeth, the teeth will open, and it'll look like the blackness there. It'll actually look like it's the creature's mouth. This clown mask pairs with lots of clown costumes, whether it's a jumpsuit, or it's coveralls, or it has pom-poms on it. Any of those would work, and I think this would definitely be a creepy, scary character. And this is the demon variant of the Stalker, and he has six horns on his head. A very intimidating character, and this would work perfectly for your demon lair, or you're going into the underworld in your haunt attraction. And here is the tan version of the Stalker. This was actually one of the first versions of the Stalker that came out years ago. It's before they made the other versions like the clown and the demon. So this is just your classic version of this mask. This character could be used for both a roaming character outside and scare people that way. Or you could have it inside your haunt. And he could be used in mobile areas in your haunt. He could be in a torture chamber. He could be a demon. He could be a clown. He could be just a creature that is hiding in a lair. He could be used in many places. Here is York the Skull, and this is the bloody variant of the mask. There's tons of blood on him. He's very gory, and you can see there's lots of really good detail on the neck and on the muscle there. They really took their time to make that look very realistic, and they did a great job. You can really appreciate all the work they did on this mask to make it look really good. You could use this mask in an autopsy scene where mobile bodies are laying on tables and they have cloths over them, so you can't tell if they're real or not and then one of them could be alive, and then they could jump up, pull the cloth off of them, and scare customers, and have this crazy skull coming after them. And here is the dry version of the mask, and I think this would work really well as a zombie, where you have it coming out of the ground, or you could have a grave riser scare, where the actor's actually hiding in the ground and jumps out, or they could just come out of a mortuary in your haunt attraction. Either would work. Or you could just have a roaming actor outside that's a zombie with this mask. And you could pair it really well with distressed coats or outfits or suits and ties. All of that would work. And you could add all kinds of moss to it. And this is a very interesting version of the mask. This is the radioactive version. And you can see here, this is how it looks under standard light. So this mask would work in either scenario where you have it glowing in the dark or under black lights. I think it would be a really cool effect either way. It looks great. And if you want to have this in a toxic scene for a toxic waste dump or your toxic village in your haunt attraction, that would work really well. And you could use this mask with a jumpsuit covered in toxic waste, and that would totally work. You could even give him a gas can that has a rattler in it so he could shake it and make a loud sound. You could give him a prop wrench. You could do all kinds of great things, prop pipes. And you could put toxic waste on that and have UV effects on it. That was the Haunt Informer. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so notification every single time I put up a new video. Give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And I am on social media. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. You can find all those links in the description below. And what was your favorite mask in this video? And as always, happy hauntings.